Apollo Ardwick Manchester was an enormous cine variety theatre. The exterior was finished in cream and black terracotta. There were two entrances to the theatre. The main one was in Stockport Road and another in Hyde Road also gave access to the ballroom. Over the entrance in Stockport Road was a cafe. In later years this was used as a licensed bar. The auditorium was 100 feet in span and could accommodate 2,750 people. One of the most fascinating things about the Apollo was its holophane lighting installation. Often mentioned earlier in this film, the system at the Apollo was still functional when these photographs were taken. There's a gigantic moulded plaster area on the main ceiling above the proscenium arch, and this was treated with a silver reflective paint. Battens of three-colour lighting equipment, housed behind cornices along the side proscenium walls, the edge of the balcony soffit, and a float immediately forward of the footlights, could flood this with a variety of colours. The lighting effects were controlled from the switchboard in the projection box, and a large wheel allowed the operator to dial up the particular colour he wanted. Backstage, a bank of sunset dimmers, housed in ventilated metal cases, had electric motors attached to them, which would bring the lighting up to the required intensity to give every shade of colour imaginable. Alternatively, the operator could set the board to automatic, in which case the motorised dimmers would raise and lower each of the primary colour buttons through the whole spectrum of colours available. The stage, with its magnificent draperies, had a proscenium opening of 45 feet with a depth of 40 feet. It had been designed to accommodate every type of stage show, whether variety, review or play, and its equipment included every device for the presentation of such shows. The organ had an attractive black and white console. The Apollo had not been built by ABC, but was another large capacity theatre taken over by the circuit. In 1977, ABC disposed of the theatre to a Southport-based syndicate.